Hello all, my name is Dinesh Bhatia and this is planetgoals.com. In this particular tutorial, I will teach you how to change the theme of your Drupal website. To start with this, what you need to do is click on appearance and you will see few default themes already present out here. Uh, the one which is being used currently is Bartek. The admin theme, when you log into your admin, ban admin panel, you will see the second theme that is 7. There are few, one more theme that is stuck, which is uninstalled. All what you have to do is click on the install button and it will get installed. Now, what if you want to add a custom theme? There is, uh, There are free custom themes available in the Drupal site. Uh, the name of the I will just say the URL is drupal.org forward slash project forward slash project underscore theme. Now in this particular site you will find many themes. Now since we are working on Drupal 8, I can just pick Drupal 8 here and click on the search button. And uh, you will see there are so many themes listed out here. You can pick one, you can pick any one and I have just picked one, I just liked this theme, Himalaya. I'll just click on, see again there are two variants, one is the tar.gz format and one is the zip format. I will download the zip format. Okay, now once it's downloaded, all what you have to do is click on install new theme and browse to the path where your theme has got downloaded you see himalaya dot zip you have to upload the zip file and click the install button Okay, it seems uh, there is some issue with this particular theme. So, I'll select another one. Maybe this one, uh, Mayo. Okay, now I'll click on the download link. And it's got downloaded. Again, I'll just browse the path to the new file download that is myo.zip now I'll click on the install button okay now I see there is a particular issue uh, you need to put uh, the FTP details to login however uh, if you are not aware of this you can manually install the theme uh, what you need to do is go to the root server inside your core Drupal you will see a themes folder just click on the themes folder and in the next tab just copy I mean paste the downloaded file out here now I'll just open the downloaded file first I have downloaded two themes, one is Mayo and the second one is Himalaya. Just copy them and go back to the themes folder. Just click on paste here. I'll try and extract it. Okay, now I've extracted, I've successfully extracted both of them, Himalaya and Mayo. Now I'll just reload this appearance page. Okay, now I've clicked on appearance and I just go down and you see Mayo theme has appeared over here. All, that, all what you need to do is click on install and set as default. Okay, 
now you just go back to the site and you see the new look of your website this is how your new site appears now if you remember we had made a, a block over your ad block which has disappeared now of course it will disappear because the, the region for this particular theme is different and it might have got assigned to none region so what we will do is put the text block back now we can just demonstrate the regions in this particular theme you see there are so many re regions okay we have seen content we have seen third sidebar first sidebar second uh, we will place the add block in top fourth column top fourth column region and let's see how it looks we'll go to structure we will go to blocks and we will search for our block named add one see here this is the custom block we had created in the previous tutorial now we will assign it to top fourth column let's click on save maybe it's not the proper region it might come somewhere on top right top let's have a look okay if you are aware that the site was only visible on services the block was only available on services so i'll just go to the services block okay see you see the block has appeared over here okay now this is a complete new uh, theme and there is no much content in your website once you place all the content and you place particular blocks the site will look a lot more better and better structured so you don't need to worry about it anywhere and there are many many more themes you can choose from this particular site this is they are all available for free and uh, you might get something really good themes out here most of them are uh, responsive so like they might work in all the particular devices like may it could be laptop it could be tablet it could be a cell phone so all the themes most of the themes are compatible to all devices so you can select one of your theme or you can also make your own theme if you are very good in html css uh, i might teach you how to create a new custom theme uh, but maybe in some few more in the later tutorials all right so this was it from me i hope you liked this if you have any more comments for this particular video if you feel uh, something is not cover covered you can please type in the comments in youtube uh, it was nice being with you uh, my name is dinesh bhatia and this is planetghost.com you have a nice day thank you